channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. In today's video, I have a kind of a different kind of meal prep. I'm just going to be sharing with you what I'm doing for breakfast and lunch this week. And the breakfast is actually something that can be frozen. So this week for breakfast, I'm doing make ahead breakfast muffins. So these are basically ones that I do. Normally I do bacon, egg and cheese muffins. So I usually use Canadian bacon, but this week I'm using some turkey sausage. These are great. You can make a whole bunch of these ahead of time and pop them in your freezer if you want. And then for lunch, I'm gonna be doing a very simple egg roll in a bowl. A lot of you over the years have told me, you need to try egg roll in a bowl. You need to try that. And I just have never tried it yet. So I am trying that. So I'm strapped for time this weekend because of a visit with our grandchildren. So I'm not gonna be doing any big meal prep this week. Not gonna be putting everything on my table at the end and showing you the whole thing. No dinner kits, no snacks, just a super simple breakfast meal prep idea and a lunch meal prep idea. And as always, the recipes and any of the items that I use will be linked down in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. So let's jump over and I'll show you how easy these are to do. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. What we're gonna need for these are some English muffins. So here I have some light multigrain, and then I also have some original. My husband prefers the original, and then I'll have the multigrain. I also have a couple of things of cheese here. The pepper jack cheese is for my husband, and then I'm gonna do the monster. I didn't quite have enough slices, so what I did, as you can see, I just kinda of took the corners off, cause this fits it better this way anyway without those corners. And then for those corner pieces, I'm going to use those for the cheese on one of the muffins. For today, I'm going to be using these turkey sausage patties. Usually I use Canadian bacon, like I mentioned, but I did find these at the store and I'm going to use these. I also like yellow mustard on mine, so I just put some yellow mustard on the actual muffin and then also some eggs. So I have my turkey sausage cooking and I just sprayed some cooking spray, but honestly, I think that next time I will actually cook these in a little bit of water. I do end up adding water in a little bit, or you could even just heat these in your microwave if you wanted. I just wanted them to have a little bit of sear to them, but as you can see, some of them got really dark. And in fact, I end up doing a few more after and they just were way too dark. So I do add, end up adding some water. I also have have my oven preheated to 325 degrees at this time as well. And the reason for that is I'm actually gonna be baking my eggs this time. So usually I don't bake the eggs. I usually do them in the microwave, honestly, when I make these, but for this time I'm gonna bake them. So I'm gonna put the lid on that. As you saw, I added some water there and I'm just gonna put the lid on for a little bit. And then now I'm just gonna crack all my eggs into a bowl. So I am actually gonna be making 12 muffins. I'm gonna make six for my husband and six for me and we're going to end up freezing some. So I'll put them in the fridge and then we'll freeze them later in the week and then we can have them whenever we want. So now I just added a little bit of water and now I'm just adding some salt and pepper. If you prefer, you can put milk in there or half and half or cream, whatever you use. And then I have a 13 by nine inch pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray and then just dump the egg mixture right into that. That is gonna go in the oven and cook 325 degrees for between 18 and 22 minutes. You just want the eggs in the middle to be set. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the muffins. So right now I'm just going through and cutting them apart. Some, sometimes they rip open okay, and then other times I have to cut them. So I just have some parchment paper down. That's what I'm actually gonna use to wrap them and also to heat them in the microwave. So I put some mustard on each of the muffins and then now I'm adding the cheese. Here's where I'm just adding that those little corners that I had. So that ended up working out pretty good. So now I'm gonna add the turkey sausage to each one and I actually end up cooking more so that I can put two on each one of my husband's and then on mine, I just do one and a half because that's all I had. I didn't have enough to put two on mine. So now I'm just gonna repeat that process with mine. So my eggs are done cooking. I actually cooked these for about 19 minutes and I just kind of shook the pan a little bit to just make sure that they were completely set in the middle. Now I'm setting those aside just to let them cool while I finish adding the cheese to mine. 
And as you can see, I only had four slices of the Munster, so I kind of had to do that with two of them with the corners. So now I'm just going to cut the eggs into 12, and then this is what they look like. So they're kind of typical of eggs that you would get like at a fast food restaurant that they put on your sandwich. These worked perfect for these. They didn't hang over too much on the sides, so I think I'm definitely going to do these again next time. And that's all there is to those. Now just put the tops together and then I'm just going to wrap them in the parchment paper and put. I'm going to put them in my fridge. So what I'm going to do is put them into two gallon bags and then I'll just leave them in my fridge and then later in the week we'll end up putting a couple of them in the freezer. So to heat these the day that we had them, I was at work, so I just put them in the microwave, left them right in the par parchment paper, put it in the microwave for about 40 seconds, then I flipped it and put it on for maybe another 20 seconds. All microwaves are different, so just kind of watch that. I would say just do like 30 seconds at a time. If they're frozen, you can get them out the night before and then do the same thing in the morning or straight from the freezer, you can put them on 50% power and then just do like 30 second increments or just put it on defrost for a little bit and then do just the normal 30 second increments. But if you're home, you can just pop them in a 350 degree oven or in like a toaster oven. So these turned out great this way. I will definitely be making these again. For lunch this week, it is a Weight Watchers egg roll in a bowl. So a lot of you have told me about this recipe. I found so many different recipes out there, but I wanted something fairly quick and easy and basic. So this one was perfect. So I am making a double portion of this though. I'm gonna kind of double everything. So here I have two pounds of ground chicken. So one thing I'm not gonna be adding is it calls for half a cup of shredded carrots for the single. I'm just gonna leave that out. I'm using two bags of coleslaw and my coleslaw has carrots in it anyway, so I'm not gonna add any extra carrots. So here I'm chopping up my green onion. I have, I think like five or six of them that I'm chopping up and I am gonna do the white part of the onion as well. I'm gonna keep that right in there. On my stove, I have my chicken cooking. So I just sprayed my pan with a little bit of cooking spray and just dumped both pounds of the chicken breast in there. This recipe actually calls for minced ginger. I usually have ginger in my freezer, but I could not find it. So I ended up just using some regular ground ginger. If you have fresh ginger, I would say to definitely use that. I think that the flavor profile would be much better using fresh ginger. So now I'm adding three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce and about one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil. Again, keep in mind that those are for my double portion. And then just mix that up real good. And then I'm gonna add the coleslaw. I added a bag of coleslaw and realized that this pan was not quite the size that I needed for this amount that I was making. So I do end up switching it over to my Dutch oven. So I should have just done everything right in the Dutch oven to begin with. So then I'm adding the second bag. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use it all, but I put it all in there. Added the green onions and this turned out so good. And again, the only difference I would do next time is the fresh ginger. I think definitely make a difference. But these are really good. My husband wasn't a huge fan of this one. He said that he liked the flavor of it, but he's just not one to have coleslaw mixed in with things. He prefers coleslaw, just the traditional coleslaw with coleslaw dressing. So let me know in the comments if you've had egg roll in a bowl and what do you add to it different than I did. So like I said, just a couple ideas for very easy breakfast and lunch prep. I'll have a full meal prep out for you next week and I cannot wait to share that one with you. So I'd love it if you could hit that thumbs up button. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. It's a journey.